Samsung announces a bevy of Galaxy devices. Instagram video is now officially taking a stab at Vine, and reports have Microsoft and Nokia canceling negotiations for a buyout. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you know what? The only thing we need now is a Samsung Galaxy air conditioner. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with an interesting product announcement. For all five of you out there that use Vine actively, well, Instagram has now released their new Instagram video, which uh, as opposed to Vine, instead of getting seven seconds, you get 15. And instead of having to move to the Vine application to get your videos, you can get everything within the same Instagram video app. And it's kind of interesting that they're taking a stab at a project that hasn't really taken off. That's the reality of Vine, but let's see if Instagram can figure it out. Now let's move the spotlight over to the Nvidia Shield. You know, that Android-based game console that's coming in the next seven days is actually dropping in price from 350 bucks to $300. And for those of you that pre-ordered, don't worry, you're actually getting a discount of 50 bucks somehow. I just don't know how just yet, but it's kind of interesting to see that this product hasn't been launched yet and it's already getting a price drop. That doesn't sound good. Now let's talk about Apple and Samsung. You know, Digitimes is reporting that both companies are actively working on bringing liquid cooling systems for their future generation iPhones and a probable future generation Galaxy smartphone. And even more interesting is that apparently the progress on this project is so advanced that we could be seeing a product by the end of this year. And the only product by the end of this year is actually the iPhone 5S because Galaxies get launched you know, by next year, or it could be the Galaxy Note 3. So stay tuned and let's see what we get. I mean, whatever's out there that will allow processing power to be faster or for your phone not to heat up, I'm all in. Now let's talk about some expected news. You know, after the crazy reports that Huawei wants to buy Nokia, a lot of us panicked. And as it turns out, the Wall Street Journal has some internal sources confirming that Microsoft have been flirting to buy Nokia in the last couple of weeks. And, you know, as a matter of fact, Microsoft actually pulled back from the negotiations because, according to them, Nokia was asking for too much money. And they don't feel that Nokia has made the dent that they were expecting in the smartphone market with the Lumia devices. And yes, that's what Microsoft said according to the internal sources. You know, it's kind of interesting. I just don't know why they didn't accept to buy the company. I mean, Nokia's really having a hard time right now. And given what happened to Paul, Motorola, and just about everybody else, I guess that's the future for Nokia if whatever happens on their July 11th event doesn't seem to wow anyone. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Samsung has just announced a bevy of Ativ Windows-based products and Galaxy products. We already heard the announcements of the Galaxy S4 Active and Galaxy S4 Mini. We have some hands-on videos, links in the description down below. But we did get the Galaxy S4 Zoom, which was the leaked photos that we saw recently. A Galaxy S4 with a big Galaxy camera at the back, which looks like an adapter, but it's actually the phone. That's it. We also got the Samsung Galaxy NX, which is a mirrorless camera Camera, which is pretty much everything that we wanted the Galaxy camera to be from the first minute that it was launched. Then we've got other awesome Ativ products. We've got an Ativ Q, which is a 13-inch tablet that's very interesting. We've also got a new Ativ Tab 3, which is obviously even better with the Haswell processor. It's got nine hours of battery. It's very interesting. I mean, there are so many products that I can't even begin to tell you. Links in the description for every single product. We've got hands-on for everything. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Out of all the products that were announced today, which one is the one you're interested in most? In my particular case, honestly, that's Samsung Galaxy NX. I mean, a mirrorless camera with the option to have Android, as long as they're not using the, you know, the processor from Android for processing images, meaning that they're using a better sensor than what we got on the Galaxy camera, the original Galaxy camera, I'm all in for that NX. I mean, that's the way that the Galaxy camera should have always been. But leave us a comment down below, which is your favorite product? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.